Urgent pull, pick guard on or off? You know you're my favorite person watching this video right now, so thanks for watching. And I hope you're doing great. And I've got something today from D'Angelico Guitars. You may know them as D'Angelico, but you're saying it not how they say it. So anyways, this is the D'Angelico Premier SS Dark Iced T-Burst. It's one of the newly refreshed semi-hollow Premier SS models that they just released. If you're watching this in the future, they just released it now in the future too. So I don't know how that works. I don't know what time means. Have you seen Interstellar? Okay, so what's new? Like with you, what's up and new? Leave a comment. We'll get into all the stuff with the guitar in just a moment. Hold on. But first, I need to give a huge shout out to Sweetwater and D'Angelico for providing the guitar and being the sponsor of this video. You can check out all the D'Angelico stuff with my affiliate links below. And it's the best way you can say thanks to them. Or you could just say thanks, D'Angelico, thanks, Sweetwater. And using the links, it supports my channel. So that's uh, my thing about that. Okay, so new with the guitar. We talked about what's new with you. Uh, the first standout feature is the pickups. Typically, at least on the D'Angelico models. Oh my God, I said it wrong. Typically, at least on the D'Angelico models I've played, they used Seymour Duncan pickups. But now we have the Supro Bolt Bucker A2 humbuckers. So I was like, oh cool, Supro. Do you know about Supro? Supro is the current line of amps uh, that they have that are really cool. They also used to make guitars. And there's a long history of the Supro name. And I'll let you go ask your aunt on Facebook to research it for you. Or you can look it up yourself. There's a lot, a lot to read about it, so go check it out. When I think of Supro, I think of David Bowie on tour, 2003 tour. All right, second change that I noticed. There's probably more, but this, these are just things that I noticed because I notice things. They've gone from Ovencall fingerboard to, take a look at it, all right? I wouldn't get this right. Pause the video, look at it. Leave a comment, what do you guess it is, right? Okay, you did, you left a comment, thanks. It's Pau Ferro, I would have never guessed. In my experience, Pau Ferro has been with the, like the Fender models, it's always looked like dried up cardboard. I guess cardboard is dry. Well, uh, dried up rosewood that's like faded. So, not the case with these. I mentioned some of the specs, but let's go over the rest of the specs and then take this SS for a tone test drive. But first, I don't always capture this. Let's experience the unboxing experience of unboxing the guitar experience that I experienced. Roll the unboxing montage. All right, let's talk specs. Semi-hollow body, single cut, two-ply, oh no, I was gonna say two-ply toilet paper, I don't know why. Five-ply binding around the body. Uh, look at the flame maple top and back on this one. I actually got to see which one I, I was gonna pick from Sweetwater, so those photos helped. If there was one you wanted to demo to showcase how awesome the flame top could be, this might be the one, this would be the one. I'm selling NFTs of the photos. Good luck with that. Okay, so top to bottom, you get the standard D'Angelico headstock. Yes, that's standard. It stands out for sure. And on the back, the sticker says, Made in Indonesia. But my question is, 
Where was the sticker made? Who stickers the stickerman? <laughs> Right, 25 inch scale length Grover 109 Super Rotomatic Tuners. It's got aluminum skyscraper truss rod. I didn't know that was the name, but that's pretty cool. It's got an Art Deco style, right? New York. We got New York going on here. C shaped maple neck, 22 medium vintage frets with a 14 inch radius, pretty flat. Tunomatic bridge, stop bar tailpiece, Supro bolt bucker, A2 humbuckers, 11 way switch. No, it's a three-way. Just checking if you're with me still, if you're actually, if you just tuned out or, you know. Two volume, two tone, and it says the knobs are ebony. And I wondered about that. They look amazing because I thought these knobs look really cool and they feel different. Like these don't feel like plastic. And then I'm going to read later that they're just ebony imitation plastic. No. I think they're ebony. They look like wood. Yay. Uh, what? Uh, you get a really nice gig bag. And I think you should get a gig bag with a guitar on this price. So I think that covers pretty much everything. Like the gig bag covers the whole guitar. No, I meant uh, covers what I was and so. Okay, let's get the guitar on my food scale and grab the weight. So this one is just under eight and a half pounds and it's comfortable. It doesn't feel super heavy. Uh, that's a good weight. Like, uh, I think seven and a half is ideal. Anything over that is a little bit heavier, but, but like eight, eight and a half, under eight and a half is, is pretty decent. But even like a super heavy guitar, like say I got like a 10 pound Les Paul, it would feel light to me because I'm clearly a bodybuilder. Okay, pick up resistances. And usually that's a, a simple task, but I was really having trouble today with the, the, uh, the grabbing the resistance because these alligator clips just kept slipping off the cable. Yeah, the tip of the cable. But I managed to do it. I got the numbers. So, you got the numbers here. Take the numbers, okay? Add them to your spreadsheet. And then you can go upload them to uh, Reddit slash pick, pick up resistance club or something. They'll appreciate it. No, that's not okay. That's not okay. Now it is. <laughs> Jack here. Brand new segment. I try to innovate my videos. I try to update my stuff. I try to always improve. I've got a new toy. It's an endoscope. And so we can take a peek inside the F holes. And that sounds really bad. This camera is only 15 frames per second. It isn't like a 4K thing. It's like 20 bucks or something on Amazon. I'll link it. You can check it out after. Uh, but let's give it a shot and see uh, the wires and the wood and the empty space. And you just kind of take a look. It's got a light on the end. So it's actually really hard to control. I, I had to, uh, I'm having a lot of trouble with it, trying to get it, it's, you know, maybe it's because I'm trying to fit it in this tight space, but the cable is so rigid and you don't know which way is up and down and it's a learning experience, but uh, I'll be an expert soon. So bear with me and uh, enjoy the insides of the F holes. In the end, your endoscope, uh, in the end, the endoscope goes in your endo scope. Okay, enough. I stole that joke from Scrubs. Cycle through the pickups and tones. Let's go. So this guitar is awesome. I definitely recommend it, as I have with every D'Angelico I've tried. I think this is the fourth one I've demoed on my channel. I'll make a playlist to others, and I'll put it in the description if I remember to do that. If I don't, then there won't be one. You can just search up Landon D'Angelico on, on the YouTubes. Uh, so my thoughts, uh, did I mention the flame top? It's amazing looking. It's like the best flame top I have in the house. Uh, I love the control knob styling. The, uh, the Art Deco of the whole thing. I was like, are these wood? And then I was like, why am I even asking that? And then I was like, because 
they stand out and they are amazing to uh, feel and touch and stuff. And um, it says on the spec sheet too that they are wood. I love the tones, clean and dirty. Uh, these Supro pickups cover any sounds, anything I threw at them, all the cleans, all the dirties. Uh, the fit and finish with the guitar is amazing, no issues. The binding looks great all around the body. You got the five ply binding and the other ply binding on the neck. The neck is slim, it's easy to play, it's not a thick neck. Uh, the tuning was solid, the tuners are good, setup was good. Easy to pick up and play. So, that's, uh, I don't know what else I can say about it. Anything negative? Uh, the only thing I can think of is, uh, and you gotta tell me why this is negative, but for some reason it's negative in my mind. They have mini pots inside instead of the full size pots. And apparently they're not as good as, bigger is better, I guess. I don't know what pots, but maybe it's the taper or something. I don't really know, but if it's uh, if that's the case, you know, it's the only negative-ish sh negative -ish thing I could think of. And uh, I've asked it already, but uh, pick guard on or off, leave a comment. And if you already left a comment, leave another one. So tell me why. I think it looks awesome with the pick guard off. I think it looks great with the pick guard on. So again, huge thanks to Sweetwater and D'Angelico. Check the links. Uh, they also have uh, this model in two other colors. So you can go look and uh, I'll keep the surprise for you to discover. It's pink and neon yellow. I might be wrong. Share your thoughts. Let me know what you know about things and stuff. All right, play guitar and have fun and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. I will take care. Thank you.